Craven Cottage will host its first Premier League game of the season between two sides who experience contrasting fortunes on the opening day. Whilst Fulham were victorious at Sunderland, Arsenal slumped to a 3-1 home reverse against Aston Villa. Arsene Wenger is under pressure following the Gunners' horror show on day one. It was the first time they've lost their first home fixture since 1993, though there was some respite with the midweek Champions League win. I don't think Arsenal have enough quality in their ranks to, to go to a place like Fulham and win. Then again, I don't think Fulham have that expertise yet to defeat teams as big as Arsenal at home, so I'm going to go for a score draw, 1-1. Villa caused the biggest stir on opening day when they dismantled Arsenal in their own backyard and they were unlucky to leave Stamford Bridge pointless on Wednesday night. Liverpool opened their season with a narrow victory over Stoke. Daniel Sturridge had the honour of scoring the campaign's first goal and with Luis Suarez still suspended, the England striker will again carry the Reds' main threat. I think Aston Villa are going to signpost their intent for the season at this one. I think they're going to win it. I think they'll win it 2-1. It's the dawn of a new era in South Wales as Premier League football comes to the Cardiff City Stadium for the first time. Having won the championship title last term, the Bluebirds arrived in the big time high on confidence but were dealt a harsh lesson at Upton Park, going down 2-0 against West Ham. City couldn't have asked for a better start to the season as new coach Manuel Pellegrini saw his side hammer Newcastle 4-0 on Monday night. That result took them temporarily top, but came at a cost, with skipper Vincent Company forced off with a groin injury. I don't think it took anybody by surprise how powerful Man City were under Pellegrini on Monday night when they dispatched Newcastle 4-0. They're my tip to be champions, and I can't see many teams preventing them from winning matches this season. I don't think it'd be any different in Cardiff. I think Man City will have far too much quality despite the atmosphere at Cardiff. I think they can win the game comfortably 3-0. Tottenham prepare to face Welsh opposition without their talismanic Welshman. Gareth Bale has finally completed his long protracted move to Real Madrid. Swansea were beaten 4-1 on the opening day by a rampant Manchester United. The Swans left record signing Wilfred Bonny on the bench, but he came on in the second half to score the consolation goal and is pushing for a place in the starting lineup. Swansea, hugely disappointing in their opening weekend defeat to Manchester United. After their qualifier against Malmo, I thought we were going to be looking at a team who could compete again for the Europa League places, but this time based on their league form. That didn't happen and now they're on the back foot already. Going away to Spurs is going to be a very tough proposition. I think Spurs are going to win it. I think they'll win it well, 2-0. The first mega match of the season takes place at Old Trafford on Monday night as Manchester United welcome Chelsea to Old Trafford. David Moyes' tenure as United boss kicked off in style with an emphatic 4-1 triumph at Swansea. Two goals apiece from Robin Van Persie and Danny Welbeck meant the decision to leave Wayne Rooney on the bench was justified. Chelsea have had a busy week. Jose Mourinho's homecoming on Sunday was quickly followed by a Wednesday night win against Aston Villa which sees the Blues top of the early table. These are the type of games that you're going to have to win if you want to make a, an impression at that end of the table. I think this will be a hugely significant result for Chelsea if they can win it and it will show that the balance of power again has shifted in the Premier League from the Manchester clubs back towards London. I think Chelsea are going to win this game, it'll be a real Jose Mourinho moment like he had with Porto at, at Old Trafford all those years ago. I can see Chelsea winning it, winning it well 3-1. In Saturday's games, Pete predicts a draw at Goodison Park and another defeat for Hull. Alan Pardew may be under pressure with West Ham winning at Newcastle and Southampton will put four past Sunderland. Stoke and Crystal Palace will play out a goalless draw. You can follow all these games on the Goal Live Match Centre all weekend.